One baker take one. Soft sticks, Mark. Okay, first of all, could you tell us what kind of students might get help from you or might find it helpful? Anyone who is struggling with anxiety, depression, test anxiety, someone who's been the victim of domestic violence, someone who's had grown up with violence in their past or has been the victim or witnessed community violence, I think that anybody can benefit from mental health services on campus. And what kind of services can they get? Is it therapy or just advice? or? Well, we actually have mental health professionals on campus that can administer a diagnosis and uh, offer mental health therapy sessions. So we have a few things going on that are kind of fun in addition to the mental health sessions that we offer. We have Wellness Wednesdays and we have a number of activities that uh, throughout the semester that are kind of fun. Our next I don't want to say that, but we have, we're offering things like Zumba and Tai Chi and uh, boot camp and some exercise opportunities because movement can help with depression and that's one of the things that I really, really, really am a big proponent of is making sure that people move. When folks come in the door and they say they're depressed, one of the first things I ask them is how much do you exercise? And do the services cost anything? Well, if you've paid your student health fee, you've paid for them through your student health fee. So, no, you don't have to pay anything additional. So if I'm a student that wants some help, how do I start the process and where do I go to get help? So, we have a wellness center that's right next door to Case Coffee Shop at 2000 Center Street. Our Suite 100 is way in the back. You can get an appointment one of two ways. You can either go to the website uh, berkeleycitycollege.edu and you can click on the health services tab and there is a referral form that you can email into us or you can come to the office space room 106 and you can fill out the same form and leave it in the box physically if you'd like to do it that way too. And could you tell us about the biggest success that you've had on, on helping a person, a college student? I think uh, I have a, the biggest success I think is helping a student who was struggling with major depression and suicide. Um, and I'm going to stop here because I think it might be scary to tell that story for somebody as a public service announcement. Would it be? Because I'm saying I'm 51 50 somebody. Mm, that's not a good idea. I can edit that out though. Yeah, I think. What if I edit that out? Because I will look at, I will let you look at the thing if there's anything I have to take out that I can take out. Um, but we can leave that out. Yeah, I think I think that's probably not a, a good Do you want to do a different story? Um do you need I Yeah. Okay. I do. So I think one of one of my um, one of the <laughs> students that I'm most proud of working with was a, a student who um, lost his dad as an adolescent adolescent and he lost his dad um, to him leaving the country and he, his dad left the country without saying anything and this is a young man that's really really bright but really really hurt and we did some we've done some really good work together he's he hasn't talked to his dad in a long time he still lives overseas and we're working through how this is affecting him as a person and how it's affecting him in school. He often doesn't make eye contact with you. And so he, you find yourself looking away. And so, or he finds himself looking away a lot. Um, I feel like I'm rambling. And, <laughs> and I guess the good thing that is, uh, when it comes to this young man, we've done, we've, there's been a, a shift recently, and I, yeah, there's been a shift recently. We did some work where he was able to kind of like confront his dad in an imaginary world, and which is a, a therapeutic modality that I use that's a, a drama based therapy. And so we confronted his dad, and now he's thinking about going to visit and actually talk to his dad face to face. He's had an opportunity to practice that. So I think that's um, a really big shift for him. Good. And um, perhaps if we could get a further shot, take over. You want to? Um, you can 
end the shot and back up and reshoot that. 